Good afternoon everybody, we are about to leave. I just filmed the video. I had to film, I still have to film the try on portion but I'm feeling really lazy and uninspired because I have to make outfits. I have today's outfit in that video. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing before leaving. We are headed to Michael's before picking up Attila. Um, we're gonna go basically do some Christmas decor shopping. Tomorrow's Friday but I don't wanna do it on Friday because I wanna spend time with Bay and Attila. So I'm wearing this knitted cardigan from Motive and I'm also I also paired it with these light oatmeal colored leggings from H&M. I'm wearing socks from Walmart and I'm also wearing my ultra mini Uggs uh, in gray, the new ones. I did my makeup of course because, you know, I was filming. And I'm wearing my Coach Pillow Tabby. I'm bringing my camera and today's fragrance is going to be... I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one because I bought it and I feel like I don't use it enough. It's the Skylar Clean Beauty Fall Cashmere. It smells really good. But I'm such a sweet person that I like don't wear it as much. But it's not that it's not good. It's very odd. But I will layer it with something a bit sweeter. So I did get a new bottle of this you guys saw in probably earlier this vlog or in the last vlog. It's going to layer just to sweeten this up a little. So yeah, so let's head out because I only have two hours. Um, it's not like necessarily the amount of time that's not enough. It's the traffic. Like I'm not going to spend two hours in marshall's and eh, not marshall's i mean michael's michael's isn't that far from me but it's just the traffic oh and my sunglasses are from sojo's vision i pulled out all of the christmas decor from last year last night and, and my mom has to pull out hers maybe to tonight or tomorrow because i want to do a haul of all of the new stuff but i also want to give some mentions of like the older stuff from last year, the things that I'm changing my theme this year, we're gonna spice it up a little. We're not gonna go with the uh, buffalo print. We're gonna go a bit more whimsical, whimsical typical wintery whites with wood, wood knits and like different textures, and it has to be toddler safe. So my haul will be most likely a toddler safe haul. I know Ikea came out with their stuff online, but I don't know if they came out in store. So if I have time, I can stop by. If not, if Bay's down to go maybe tomorrow and I can go with Bay and Attila, that could be fun. I don't know, we'll see. But I am picking up, taking some candy with me from the trick-or-treating trip that we did and uh, a new battery and we can head out. You see, I let them eat the cookie cause it's good for him. And when the boy eats the cookie, he got good for him. We're here. The type of music I listen to, it does not equate to the type of stuff that I like to do. I was like, yeah, gang, gang, bang, bang, gang, gang. I'm on my way to Michael's to buy some Christmas decor. We might go to Walmart because it's right next door. I'm at Quidvertu. Michael's, Walmart, Quidvertu. Walmart, Quidvertu. Bangs. I really need to get my nails done. I'm just very lazy. I cannot stand getting my, my nails done. I wish I could just like chop them off, drop them off, and pick them up. Like nail daycare. Like sitting there for two hours. So sad that this doesn't go with my theme. I love the dried orange. This is so cute. These are super cute. These are really cute. These are super cute as well. Do they light up? I doubt it. Houndstooth. I love anything houndstooth. I only wish they had um, pillow covers instead of full on pillows. I ain't got the space for all these pillows, baby. This is a really pretty tree skirt. But I have one. Wait, 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 wait. I have a really pretty one already, so. This is what I'm talking about. How much are these? Oh, they're actually not that expensive. This is only $20. 
I would expect it to be a lot more. It's like this, the lighting doesn't do it justice, but it's like this pretty um, pearl tree. Like, the section is really girly and pretty. Oh my god. It's a Haitian Santa. Toto Noel. This is pretty. This is really nice too. There's like mad kids. A few of my favorite things. Cozy knits. See, this is perfect. How much is this? 30 bucks. They're having a buy one, get one. So this could be worth getting if I get two things that are $30. Could be worth it. I have something like this already. I like this as well. $29.99. See, if they had this in like a neutral color, I'd definitely get this. It's so cute. Toddler safe, not my color scheme, unfortunately, but it's a very pretty emerald green. They really did a good job with the traditional colors this year. Um, too bad I'm not going traditional. <laughs> I'm looking for like DIY things, but like I don't, I can't seem to find any, como se dice, tree shaped or like snowflake shaped DIY items. I might just have to use cardboard. I really want this, but where am I gonna put it? This beautiful garland. Even this is very cute because I want more textures, but where am I gonna put this? I don't have anywhere to put this. This would be perfect, and it's honestly pretty affordable. But I already have a cute skirt, so I don't need... But this collar goes with my theme. We are at Wally World! They do have cute things. Oh my god. Oh, that's so cheap. Oh, I like him. This is cute too, but Attila's definitely going to smash this, so that's a no-go. Like, I love textured things like this. So, oh. oh my god, so cute. Oh my god, I should make one for Momo. These are actually cute, look. I already have a wreath. I want something for the balcony. Like, solar-powered. You know, cute. My mom has this, the snowfall. These are cute, the little gift boxes. I can't seem to find anything that's like solar powered. This looks just like my brother's cat. Rin. I think I'm just gonna get the wooden nutcracker. You know, for cracking nuts. Love to see it. I like the black one too, but the wood is very cute. Okay, I think I found everything I need to find. Last year, they had this candle holder. Okay, this one isn't a candle holder, but I'll show you guys because I'm using it this year. I'll show you guys in the hall. Maybe they'll come back with it next year, but they had this cute candle holder as well. This would be pretty at my parents' house because they're taking my theme this year, the buffalo plaid. Could be cute. Okay, you guys, you guys can't see me. I just picked up Bay from work and I had a pretty rough day. Not rough day. It wasn't rough. You know, sometimes you have talks with your parents. It just doesn't go the way you wished it went or whatever. It's just, it's just, it, nothing happened between me and my parents. It's just like it was a talk and I got emotional and stuff. So yeah, anyways, I started my day a bit like off. I still got stuff done. You guys can't see me. The lighting is garbage. It's so bright because like the sun is going down. You guys can't. Oh my god. Okay, maybe golden hour is a vibe. It's not a vibe. I'm blind. <laughs> this is such a struggle. But yeah, um, Bay just got me this really cute card. He forgot his keys at work, so he had to go back. And he's gave me a card and it says, uh, my eyes are like watering. It says there are ups and there are downs and there are people who are here for you either way. And it says, even when things get rough, like your MacBook sounds, because <laughs> my old MacBook is like crashing. Oh my God. I will always do my best 
to save the day. I love you and keep killing it because you're doing a great job. Go make that bread without worrying if it's gonna upload or not. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Love, Dada. Oh, don't cry, you look cute, don't cry. He's such a sweetheart. Oh my God. I swear if you would have gotten me like flowers because my day was like not didn't start on a good note i would have probably been crying too and he got guys he got me a macbook <laughs> he got me a new macbook what the hell what like my love language is gift giving and like gift receiving but it never it's never like the size of the gift is just in general like i like planning things for people i have i like giving stuff to people when my friends come over i'm like you like that you want it like that's just the type of person that i am like when we're when i like especially when i've like established like we're friends you know or like i'll get something for you without even you knowing or i'll get something for your your kid or like, that's just the type of person i am so like gift giving is also like what i like so like it's it's it, source if if your love language isn't gift giving you won't understand you'll see it as like superficial materialistic but the people that are like me you it could have been a chocolate bar and i would have been crying i am he's on his way back i am in shock i have a macbook pro i i, I don't know what to say you're crazy why why did you get this for me no MacBook Air, this MacBook Pro. I know, but like, look at him. The sun, oh my god. Did you, did you see at the end of the card? On the card, what it says? I know, I, I can read. Go make that bread without worrying if you're if it's going to upload. I know, thank you. You're welcome. Can I have a kiss? Yes. Mwah. Shoot, I'm in shock. Okay. I did, I did. Bro, when you handed me that heavy ass bag, I was like, what the hell? I thought they were Ugg boots because I I wanted the I want another pair. Ugg boots. <laughs> oh, I lost a nail also. Um, I thought they were Ugg boots, and turns out it's a whole computer. We're gonna go take a walk. Tomote? Yeah, he wants to go up. He doesn't yeah. want to walk. Okay. Yeah, he likes the stroller now, which is funny. I'm wearing my coat from Boohoo. I think it's linked in my obsessed with it. Basically, Obsessed With It is like a platform where all of my links are there. Even if you don't see something on the picture, if you look at under the picture, there are going to be like links to a bunch of different stores, even if it's the same item. I don't have any lip, lip balm with me, so I'm going to have to put lip gloss. My favorite part about Autumn are walks. Hi! His water bottle fell? What? Fall or did you throw it? Do I wear this? I think he's gonna wear this one. It's cuter. This one's like slightly too small for him. Hi, handsome! Look at this handsome boy! Look at this handsome boy! Wait, your hat is all like messed up. Hey! Yeah! The hello! Hello! No? No? Okay, never mind. No, hello. this the so next day i'm getting ready because i have to film some content i have to film like maybe an outfit of the day for tiktok and also the try on portion of the haul that i filmed yesterday i i started it and i had no energy so i just 
but let me finish it tomorrow oh my god last night guys i had the worst back pain apparently when you take epidural when you give birth you have like your back has like ptsd from like the epidural so i had like little like sparks of pain sometimes depending on like the movement and stuff but like yesterday i guys my nails are so ugly but i really want to do like a pamper day and use my back guys i have never felt pain like this in my back since giving birth i went to bed at like 10 o'clock at night that's early for me if you know me that's early for me because i get my stuff done at night like clean the house or like prepping like content or filming stuff that i wasn't that i didn't have time to film like try on portions or whatever i do all of that stuff at night i think i went to bed like at night i put it to bed and I, I went straight to bed Bay had to take off my makeup with for me i could not leave the bed i was so tired my back was killing me also attila's in this like mommy 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 stage i don't know what daddy is i don't want to know who my dad is like he does not care for jimmy at all jimmy has to like force him to hang out with him <laughs> Cause I have stuff to do. I'll be like, "Yo, help me!" And Jimmy's like, "But he doesn't want. He doesn't want me." And I'm like, "If you don't take your son right now, outside, go play, so I can finish my stuff." So God, so help me. So, anyways, my back was killing. I feel fine today. Jimmy has like this magical herb spray that his old boss gave him for his back. Cause Jimmy had really bad back pain for a while. I don't know why, but um, during COVID, like after COVID, like the pandemic. COVID's still here, but you know, you guys know what I mean. He um, was working at Nike. If you guys didn't know, Jimmy worked at Nike for a while. And his back was killing him. We don't know why. So his boss, I don't know, his boss is like a masseuse on the side. Or his his boss's boyfriend um, his like um, was a masseuse. Someone was a masseuse. And like they had like this spray and jimmy's like you know this is magic and it's like this minty you spray it where you where it hurts on your back and it just like freezes and i went straight to bed i didn't shower tout senti mal, mal dormi i didn't care i just went to bed straight to bed if i look purple or weird it's because i'm opposite from the light i'm actually cute and i put a wig on as well because i'm because i'm my my hair these tape ins were great but like I'm the type of person that like I like putting my hair up or I like doing my hair and tapings like it's basically like a sew-in so if you want it to match your hair you're gonna have to curl it you're gonna have to curl it so I was my hair is broken so I'm probably just gonna do tapings in the fall starting next year so next fall during like end of like end of August September October November that's when I'm gonna have like tapings and then winter wigs and then summer probably braids and my natural hair into a bun and stuff so anyways so many so many different topics so many different topics you gotta keep up when you watch my videos so yeah so i didn't have time to do anything so today i'm gonna film the rest of the trial portion and then later bay has to do an exchange because he bought these uggs and they broke like the tag in the back he bought the tasman puffer ug and he pulled on them to like put them on and the tag the thing in the back broke so he's like, okay, well, I have to go. He's gonna, they said that they're, they'll exchange it because, like, I think, like, Uggs are, like, life proof or something. They're, like, Lululemon, like, they're warranty. So they're gonna exchange them. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna pass by another Home Sense um, just so I can see what they have. We have so many in Montreal. Like, there's one in Vaudreuil, there's one in Fairview, there's one in Laval, there's, like, another one, like, in Rosemère. There's, like, there's so many. So whenever I get the chance to go to, like, Laval or something, I go. I also want to pass by Tig Géant, which is like Giant Tiger. I don't know if you guys have that in the U.S. If you have my U.S. followers, but it's it's giving Target meets Walmart meets CVS meets the grocery store. It's like it's like it, it has its own lane. But we are gonna pick up Attila before doing all of that. Jimmy's at work, obviously, but we're gonna pick up Attila at four o'clock before doing that. And honestly, I don't think I'm gonna make dinner tonight because I think my friends are coming over for tacos tomorrow, and I've been cooking all week, um, like supper and stuff. So I think tonight is a McDonald's night for the family. Like Attila, I'm gonna get him some nuggies and stuff. So yeah, so I'm just finishing up my makeup. I put on this two-year-old wig that I had, but guys, it looks really good because I cut so many layers it used to be a 30 inch unit straight boring like it was really nice when i first got it for like the first year it was really nice and then it just it was in my wig bag for the longest time and then um 
I pulled it out, I washed it, and I cut some layers in, curled it. It just, it looks like a, it kind of looks like a sew-in. So yeah, so I did that today, which is why getting ready took a little longer. The bun, I'm like inhaling this. The bun was not giving today. Like, it wasn't giving. I think it's because I have tapins left. I have like 10 tapins that I can't seem to get out. So I have to buy some sort of like liquid removing thing. And I have like glue stuck in like my hair, but my hair is washed. It's just... I don't have time for this right now. But I, oh my god, Momo. Let me zoom out. Let me into him. He's sleeping in my wig pile. You guys see him? Oh my god. Oh, my fan's still going. Oh my god. Anyways, this was a cute little... Like, I'm really living for this. I don't know if I want to put on lashes today. I might put like a bit of mascara. Um, I didn't get my lashes done. I'm going to get them done next week. Christelle was sick. She was sick. And you know, like, lash techs aren't like nail techs. Like, nail techs, you guys have like the... You can put like the plastic film. You can have like your mask. A lash tech is in your face. Like, she's like... So, her being sick, even with the mask, it wasn't like the smartest thing. So, she, I think she called all of her clients and she was like, C'est fini. I'm sick. So, she took a couple days off. And she was going to reschedule me this week, but it was like at a time that wasn't like practical for me with my son. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give my lashes a little break and like, I'll see you next week. Cause I'm booked with her every two weeks. And I think that same day I'm going to book my nails. I'm just going to book my nails and be like, sis, can y'all do my nails? A refill. I lost a nail. I don't want a new set because this is a new set. Anyways. Yeah. So hi kitty. He's seriously the cutest little human in the world. Besides Attila, of course. And yes, I did call my cat a human. Okay, guys, so I'm done uh, filming and I ate. I'm about to leave. Uh, putting on some socks. My set, I don't know if you guys can't really see me in this lighting. My set is from Glow Mode, what I'm wearing today with uh, my like slip-on Uggs. I've been wearing these like crazy and a cardigan. It's 21 degrees, which is wild to me because we're supposed to be like, we're November. We're in November. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My fragrance of the day will be this. I swear I'm such a like creature of habit, like when I like something. You will not catch me wear anything else. You will not catch me wear wear anything else, eat anything else. It's uh, maybe food. I have more variety when it comes to like dress, like the way I dress and the way I smell. I like what I like. I'm gonna put some deodorant as well. My cat's yelling at me because he wants treats. He knows I'm leaving. As soon as he sees me put on perfume, he's like, oh, she leaving the house. But like even when I'm just wearing pajamas and I put like a little fragrance mist, he's like, are you leaving? I'm like, no. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm topping it off with this cardigan I just got in the mail from Shein. It's like a like knit, but it's like a cardigan, but it's like a coat. I think this is what I'm gonna wear. Oh yeah, I kind of like this look. It's giving like Lululemon mom on the go vibes. I'm gonna apply more of this on top of the cardigan. This is brand new. Like I should have probably washed it before leaving. Maybe some in my hair too. My hair smells like burnt wig. And two spritz of this by the fireplace, and then we're good to go. You're honestly so stressful. It's not even funny. Come on. So much pressure. Oh, we finished the pumpkin ones. Now we're trying the cranberry. It's really dark in the apartment right now. I just went through my Christmas wrapping box thing and I told my friends, do not buy any, any wrapping paper this year because I have. And my friends, like, they don't care about, like, themes and stuff. Like, as long as it's cute, they don't really care. Do I wear this bag? I always wear this bag, but it's like such a good go-to bag hmm, I really want to wear a cute little no I'm gonna wear a small bag because we're going out with Attila I'll have his um, diaper bag
But I don't wanna play your face Makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give us something Baby, I can run all the time Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends But I wouldn't wanna leave You know I wouldn't wanna bleed Even my heart, my mind, my Everybody, I just dropped Bay off at work. It's 9:35. He starts at 10, but I, what are we gonna do? Hang out? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, yeah, as you guys saw, he was bumping Drake's new album. Why is it Taylor's lullaby playing? Anyways, we are going to Canadian Tire. Um, my nails look awful. I'm gonna try to see if the nail people can like take them off maybe right before I go um, pick up Attila later at daycare we dropped him off together and everything usually Jimmy starts really early but today I think I don't know it's the holiday season so they wanted him to start like later I don't know so yeah so I'm on my way to Canadian Tire because their Christmas decor came out on their website and like some of them say like okay we have six in stock we have five in stock we have so they should be on the floor because I've seen like Canadian Tire Christmas decor things for a while like saying that they had things coming for a while I'm driving slow slow because I don't want this camera to fall but yeah so oh should I have to wait here because I'm taking the autoroute so yeah so we're gonna get on the highway real quick um so yeah so we're going to Kitty. Do I have to go to on the I could just take the boulevard. Yeah, let's take the boulevard because highway, it's too early for the highway. There's mad people. Yeah, so we're going to Canadian Tire, which is fun. Um I love Canadian Tire Christmas decor. Their fall decor didn't really hit this year. You guys saw in the past vlogs. Anyways, I've been talking a lot. It's been four minutes and 19 seconds 22 seconds out and i just want to focus on f focus i want to focus on the road i'm not the greatest car vlogger and uh, i could have my let's take my tribe my car mount oh is it here no that's not it shit okay i'm gonna look for my car mount it might be in my bag if not well i'll see you guys at canadian tire all right you guys i'm so excited okay this what i like about canadian tires that they always offer like cute things for like if you have a kid i really like this though for 2.93 i think i could still get away with this in my tree this year but i'm looking for like knitwear because i know oh look at this starbucks cup if you want to do a tree for your kid like they have the, the avocado they're really glittery though like Oh, Paw Patrol. Cute. Anyways, yeah, I like that, that they do that. Ooh, we see Sherpa. Oh, that's cute. Advent calendar. And then they have this, but their stuff isn't cheap, okay? Just letting you guys know, like, anything canvas is pretty pricey. Please, my nails. Oh, this throw is so pretty. But they do feel like good quality. 
and they really get the whole like they get the vibe you wouldn't think that um canadian tire out of all places would get the vibe but they get the vibe um see this is the type of stuff i'm looking for oh this is cute i am getting these like plaques They're, they kind of look like plaques from oh this is so cheap brown i think i'm gonna do this because it goes with my theme I'm, I'm getting this what oh my god i'm getting this what oh my god these are so cute oh this is a garland 193 how cute it does go with my theme as well but i'm not gonna get it because i don't have anywhere to put it look how cute this is guys oh this is wood this is real wood this is heavy i am looking for knitwear though N like knit like uh ornaments i am getting like wooden ornaments from what's his face from the bay because i am doing a collab with them look a dollar 49 you get six of these oh my god look at this this is if you have a big tree like my little tree cannot fit all of this oh i saw these online but since i'm getting some wooden ones from the bay i'm not gonna get them but these a dollar 99 look at these like they really understand the like the assignment i love these as well so cute this is so cute momo would devour this little man so quick okay so last year they had these knit mittens that i bought and i want like more more knit mittens <laughs> um, i don't think i have enough christmas isn't even done yet and they already have stuff on liquidation okay this is cute but this is like mm, five dollars each is kind of pricey so i'm gonna see if they have something another option this is a ceramic one which i like because it's like a knit design but i have a child and he's unhinged okay you guys know how he is he's gonna put things in his mouth it's not just that he's he's a baby it's normal it's just i don't want to put him in a situation where he's gonna put anything like wild okay so this is what i found so far cute these are on sale for 43 cents that's like a good deal i'm gonna show you guys these are on sale for 43 cents if it goes with your theme cute right listen i'm gonna ask them if this is return like refundable if i can return this i'm gonna take it because it's like it's 42 percent off which is to me is a good deal and um if it doesn't go i'll return it on this oh okay so there's one oh my god there's only one and they put oh maybe they were on sale when i bought them last year there's only one left but these were really like popular last year so how do they only have one though like really really canvas one or i want something with texture so it doesn't have to be a knit but it could also be like i don't know like this is cute but like five bucks for one is like a lot i can't wait to decorate my mom's tree because she's taking the uh, buffalo print and that's gonna go so well at her house like so much cute at her house and my house they have stuff on sale too right eh, guys i don't know maybe it's last year's stuff but like um paw patrol what's the name stocking oh this is cute i wanted this last year but it's, it's 60 dollars. i don't know if you guys remember but i got a really nice knit one from home sense and not knit but like a faux fur and i really liked it but these are very cute as well oh i love this time of year honestly what would stores do without people like us that just spend a ridiculous amount of money for no reason if you're not into the traditional um you know traditional decor for christmas this is really nice too and then you can put like a nutcracker on your like side table right cute oh 620 in your if you have a daughter this is all in canada by the way guys i don't want you guys thinking that like it's 
it's called Canadian Tire for a reason. I love these candy canes. Oh, this is so nice. Guys, he is so cute. Why does he have a Louis bag though? And why does this look like a Gucci belt? <laughs> oh, he's perfect. I don't, I don't have anywhere to put him, but he is perfect. We'll see, maybe once I'm done decorating, if I feel like I have a, oh, oh my God, no, he's cuter. They're like matching. Okay, now that I've seen both, I kind of, if I get one, I have to get the other. Oh my God. Oh my God. Cute. I already have stuff like this. This is big. Yeah, guys, Canadian Tire is like, the, what does it say? Fa la 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 la. Does it light up? Oh my god, it does. Cute. Canadian Tire is the place for like aesthetically pleasing Christmas decor. I'm looking for like something solar powered to put on my balcony. Let's see. Let's go check out the outdoor stuff. Oh, also their wrapping paper. They also have like really aesthetically pleasing wrapping. I picked this up. It's on sale, so I took it. You know me. I love a good sale. Um, I want to get this, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get it right now. Because... Yeah, I don't want to get it now. I think I'm going to get this now. Oh. This is like... Because this is going to look cute under the tree. But that's the only paper I'm buying because I have so much left from last year. And I even told my friends, like, do not buy any wrapping paper this year because I have enough. And I think it's become tradition that Darcia wraps the gifts. But like, would you make it look cute? You're cute. <laughs> um, okay, this is like wreath and stuff. I really want to know if those brown ornaments are like returnable. You guys, I can't find my garland. I cannot find my garland to save my life. So I have to go, I think I'm going to go to my parents house and check that out because where's my garland at? I'm about to go gas my car. Where my man at? He gasses most of the time. sound like count in sesame street okay so this is my outfit today i'm uh, going to get my lashes done it's 8 30 and attila's done getting ready i'm gonna take him to daycare then i'm gonna get my lashes done and see christelle guys i mastered how to make your wig look like a blowout so i know you guys didn't ask but there's a tutorial coming because i'm obsessed like I, I look like I just left the salon. It's so effortless and like easy. Um, I also made my mom braid. Guys, all of my tape ins are off. He can hear my voice. The tutorial is gonna be on another unit. 
So yeah, today's outfit is from Fashion Nova. It's new in an extra small. It's coming in a... I think the haul's coming before this vlog because this is like Christmas content. Momo! So I want it out as late as possible. Like as closer to December as possible. So this is from like the Black Friday haul you guys will see and my fragrance of today i need to wear my fragrances more i'm gonna wear this i think it's discontinued but i really like it my friend paula get get got uh, get bleh, bleh, got that for me when i was pregnant i should wear this more often but i think it's discontinued i think you can get it on amazon though i'm gonna put this cardigan from zara on and i'm gonna bring my chunky knit coat from zara as well just so um, in case it gets cold because yesterday was really cold, but today it's less cold, but it's still cold Do you guys know Quebec is like weird? So yeah, and I'm gonna wear my slip on Uggs and also like I was I have a brand new cardigan from Fashion Nova Like a chunky knit, but I don't want to dirty it. I want to show it to you guys first. I haven't filmed the video yet So I want to film the video first also guys Fashion Nova PJs wait someone's calling me I got this pair of brown PJs in the hall because it's a cozy haul. So anything cozy for the fall and winter. And you guys know I love these like jersey, like soft cotton, wide leg button up pajamas with the white piping. I love that. But this one says, the brown one says, need coffee. And the blue, I got a blue as well, says nap time. And I have a pink one, a magenta one, that I've had for like two years now, and I love it. And I forgot what it says. It says like, love me or something. So cute and so comfy. Anyways, I have to go. I forgot to tell you, besides getting my lashes done, we are also... Where is my engagement ring? We are also... Um, give me a second. Okay, so I didn't tell you guys, but we are going uh, to go do some returns. I bought way too much um christmas decor i'm making coffee right now way too much christmas decor look at all of this behind me on the island it's just it's too much like and also because i have a toddler like i still showed you guys in the vlog but I, i'm not returning like half of it like this is all i'm keeping so mind you um Obviously, there's stuff from last year, but this is all I'm keeping. Everything that was, like, not necessarily overpriced, but, like, pricier, and I knew that I could, like, finesse it in another way. I'm returning. Or, like, I don't even have space for it. I'm returning, like... Though, I love having my place look like Santa's workshop. It's, it's, it's unrealistic with a toddler right now. Like, when he turns, like... Maybe four, you know, he's turning two soon, so four is pretty close. Um, when he turns like four, we still in the pumpkin vibes, okay? Um, maybe he'll understand like, don't touch mom like this, don't touch that, this is dangerous for you. But having to actually go out of my way and buy toddler proof decor, is insane you know and that's my life now and i love my life it's just like listen i'm gonna return whatever i feel is unsafe or that i don't need. i should probably bring myself something to eat but i won't and then i'll complain that my head is spinning and then bill text me like did you eat today and i'll be like i had a coffee i feel like us women we all live the same life Okay, lashes are done. I feel like a bad bee. I got candy. Um, I got a lollipop. So we're gonna head to Home Sense. My favorite Home Sense, Marché Central. It's like the best one to me. Like that's the closest to me. The other ones are good, but like that one just hits like all the time. The Marshalls Home Sense there. Um, even the winners and we're Thursdays and Thursdays when they get new stock. So I'm going there for a return But if it turns into an exchange, I'm not mad at it, baby. I don't have scissors. Why isn't this opening? Anyway, so she went a bit 
she be, she went one millimeter shorter so usually i go up to 15 i think she does 11 to 15 she did 11 to 14 and um uh, that's yeah that's it i think it's still a volume set i like it it's it's really like a nut why is this kid out by himself he has to be like five or six um i'm such a um like merpool like i'm so chicken when it comes to children um there's probably a school because there's another kid here crossing the streets anyways these boots are adorable these are fire steve madden sure. all right so we're back home honestly i i came back home i edited scrolled it on scroll it scrolled on tiktok got some inspo from some for some christmas content um i love tiktok like it's so it's the best um i did like an outfit of the day for tiktok this is the only thing i bought today mittens for till i i stopped by aubenry because there's one next to the home sense and he we lost his mittens like i keep losing them some like they're identified they say his name and everything and that's all i bought today i returned everything i looked around at uh at the uh, home sense at michael's and at canadian tire actually canadian tire no i didn't look around because i knew that if i looked around and found something i would buy it and i don't need to buy anything so we're gonna make the quick and easy chili together we made pasta two days ago so we have leftover meat, raw meat, it, but whatever. Um, and I bought a couple ingredients. We really like the HelloFresh chili, but the HelloFresh chili is like from scratch. And I'm not in the mood to make from scratch. So basically what I do is I buy two of these. Um, the home, homemade, home style chili from Tim Hortons. By two, I add meat, I add shallots, um, we add onion, we add seasoning. Stop, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. You're fine, buddy. Um, and the one from the one from uh, HelloFresh, you put sweet potatoes on top to make it a bit more filling. So I bought two sweet potatoes. And yeah. You want to say hi? Say hi. The hello. Hello. Hi. This is a patate douce. Patate douce. Patate douce. Sweet potato. Give me that, Mama. The sweet potato. Come on, no. Sweet potato. We oui, sweet potato. Say Lucky Charms. Ati, Lucky Charms. We oui, bravo. Uh, uh. Caramel Toast Crunch. We oui, high five. High five. Never mind. Say Sriracha. Say. Sriracha. Okay. We oui, bravo. This is spicy. I don't want you opening that. Here's a haul by Attila. Bravo! You wanna go play with Dada so I can make the food? Please? No? Uh huh. Okay, never mind. Let's just starve. Okay, well, we're, I'm gonna do. Did he bite you? Yeah. He's in a. See, you know, this is. You already broke a camera. There was a lock, lock. There was this, there, we couldn't find sriracha anywhere for months. So here it is, we found sriracha. We should have gotten two bottles because we can't find some anywhere. Okay guys, so I'm now going to make the chili. I figured I'd do a voiceover. It's late, so I'm not talking too loud. My son's sleeping, baby's sleeping. 
Anywho, sirens are going off. What? The, anyways, I'm gonna start by peeling the sweet potatoes. Um, I don't know what my beef is with sweet potatoes, but peeling them and cutting them up has to be the hardest thing in the world. You guys will see in the next clip, I'm gonna have to use like a hammer or something in order to cut sweet. Who who made this potato? Like p sweet potatoes are too hard. Why? They're supposed to be sweet, so. I would assume that something sweet would be soft, you know, but I'm here using like construction utensils, tools in order to make dinner for my family. Anyways, I'm going to cut them up into little cubes. This recipe is literally not the whole recipe, but like the base of the recipe is straight up from a HelloFresh recipe. Um, basically, you make your sh your chili and you add sweet, like roasted sweet potatoes on top and it's so so yummy so i'm gonna cut them up into these cute little you know cubes using my palms and a hammer i think i got this hammer in like a pr package or something and i kept it and it does the job clearly call me bob the builder once that's done you're gonna take out your baking sheet and add some parchment paper and some olive oil we are a olive oil family over here vegetable oil I don't have a problem with vegetable oil, but my brother does. And for some reason, he's like a steak connoisseur. And I don't know, he just brainwashed me into liking olive oil. So olive oil it is. And you're just going to add your seasoning. You're going to add the oil. You're going to add the potatoes. You're going to add the, any seasoning that you want as long as you add some sort of Mexican seasoning just for it to be a bit, you know, chili-esque. And you're going to add some more oil on top. So you're just going to drizzle extra olive oil on top. But yeah, you're going to add some either minced garlic or diced garlic or whatever. I use Kirkland Costco garlic, the huge pack. And you're going to add your meat, your ground beef, ground pork, ground turkey, whatever you want. And you're going to mash it up until, you know, it's cooked, it's brown. It looks yummy. And then you're just gonna put your potatoes under the oven. I think you put the oven at 120, at 125, 4, 425, and then you put the potatoes in for 20 minutes, something like that. I, I really just cook like off my head. I just like, oh, Google, wake me up in 20 minutes. And then if they're cooked, they're cooked. Okay, so now in your meat, once it's like nice and brown and like, you know, not pink anymore and cooked, you're going to add your two cans of chili. Um, these are from Tim Hortons, like I mentioned before. It tastes pretty good. Honestly, it's not that bad on its own, but I would rather, you know, add my little spices and my seasoning and my own meat just for it to be like a proper dinner. Here's how the dinner looked. You can add some cheese and you can also add some sour cream. So we ate dinner, it was super yummy, and here's how the brown pajamas that I was talking about look like. They're so, guys, they're so comfy and I've washed them so many times and they don't like fall apart. They're very good quality, honestly, for something that's from like, you know, a fast fashion brand like Fashion Nova or whatever. I really love these PJs. And I just made my bed and picked up around the room and I made myself a glass of wine. I don't know what day this was of the week, but for some reason, fall and winter, any minor inconvenience that happens in my life, I need to pour myself a glass of wine. This is the Nivole, if I remember correctly. Poured myself a nice glass of that. I have a glass of wine next to me right now as we speak. I don't know why, it's just a thing during the winter. Don't get me started with the pandemic. I was buying bottles at a time every time i went to the liquor store i was buying like three four five bottles at a time anyways i got a bunch of packages and jimmy was playing his video games so i was like you know let me do my thing okay so quick intermission about my unit that's on my head i didn't realize the parting was so far apart and when i looked at this unit i just saw that some hair dye got off i don't know maybe whoever sent me this wig messed up because this was a um custom wig before i pimped it out myself you know cut some layers and whatever in it and maybe she messed up and she dyed you know the hair back again in order to fix the problem but the hair dye was fading away and my part looked like we're parting the sea okay it's a really wide part um i do add makeup and stuff to it so please 
spare me the cost. I honestly, guys, I do not care about my hair anymore. It's insane. Anyways, so I got this pretty necklace from Amazon that I bought. It was on sale for like $10 and it's pla uh, gold plated. I'll link it down below for you guys. It was on sale for 10 bucks. So I got the letter A and um, yeah, for Attila. I didn't want my letter. And I already have this pretty diamondy necklace that I wear when I go out, you know, girls' night and stuff with a J for Jimmy. Um, you know, when the boys be like, what does J stand for? Jessica? I'm like, no. It's for Jimmy, my husband. Anyways, <laughs> um, next package was a pillow cover, a cushion cover to be precise, from Hudson Bay. I will link it down below. It's this um, Christmas tree christmas tree boho e um pillow cover for my bed because i am partnering with them again for the month of november so i'll link everything down below for you guys and then on amazon i actually when i need something and i don't want to pay for it i just send it to me and he's like okay i'll get it so i sent him that uh like two days ago these are like kids toy bins but they're like a bit cuter than your average toy bins and as you guys can see the the playpen is gone. My son is officially... Honestly, he could still fits in the playpen very well. He fits in the playpen. He just doesn't want to be in it. So then I also got... got then I also got this um, throw from the bay as well. So basically with the bay, I just choose a bunch of stuff, whatever. It's a, it's a collab. It's a campaign. But the bay is like a big store. So a lot of stuff are sent separately and not in one box. Anyways, um, you guys uh, are seeing me just add the toys to the little bins, organize his toys. Tons of them he doesn't even play with anymore. I'll try to see if I can go through which toys that he plays with or like or doesn't and we'll see what I do with them. Maybe I'll do a giveaway to someone in need. I don't know, but he has a tons of toys he doesn't play with and he keeps getting toys. Christmas is approaching, his birthday is approaching. Anyway, so I cleaned up the shelf unit this is from ikea i'll try to link it for you guys as well i love this it comes in so many different sizes and it's relatively really inexpensive it used to be a hundred dollars maybe now it's 200 i don't know but it used to be a hundred when i bought it and i just organized his toys that's all i did guys that is the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video love you bye